Hi guys, my name is Anna. I'm a blogger at babbledabbledo.com and today I'm going to teach you how to make something very, very special. Oozing, drippy, droopy, delicious slime. Are you ready? So there are a lot of different slime recipes, but the one that I like best uses a combination of two ingredients, white glue, you can also use clear glue by the way, and liquid starch. Liquid starch is a laundry additive and you could usually find it in the laundry section of places like Target um, and, and such. If you want to add coloring to your slime, you're going to add that at the same time that you add these two ingredients. Now I like to start with a ratio of about two to one, two parts glue, one part starch, and go from there. The thing about slime is that it, you really need to fine tune it. So you'll find that you might get something like this at first, which is really too slimy, too liquidy. If that happens to you, you're going to add a little bit more glue and then mix it again and see if you can't get a better consistency. Now also you might end up with something like this, which is too sticky. Um, and it will be sticking to your hands a lot. That's not what you want either. So then in that case you're going to add a little bit more starch. And this is really what you want. You want super flexible slime. It shouldn't stick to your hands. It should just droop, and drizzle, and ooze. If you want to make multicolored slime, I suggest starting with a white slime, so uncolored, and then adding in pieces or sections of slime that you've colored with different colors of food coloring. That way it won't be a complete um, purple mess in five minutes. The slime colors do eventually combine into kind of a purpley color, but you know, it's really beautiful at, for a little while at least, um, while you have a lot of colors intermixing.